We continue with the new stuff arriving constantly and today we have something from Beat Phoenix. It's finally here on PC Crazy Channel. We have new stuff and I'm really excited to be talking about something new and from a brand that we actually didn't do at all. Now we have here the Beat Phoenix Saber case. We have the Beat Phoenix Formula Gold 750, 750 watts. Uh, power supply, we have custom extenders here, the Alchemy 2.0 extension cable kit. We have the 6, yeah, 6, 3, 6, okay. We have the 6 Spectre addressable RGB fans. We have 30 centimeters Alchemy 3.0 addressable RGB LED strip and the 60 centimeter one as well. Now, we're not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to link them below so you can check out the products. But today we're going to test out the case, the airflow, the temperatures, everything. We're going to connect all the fans to see how the light looks. We're going to connect the power supply inside, of course, because we need to power all the components and going to do some close-ups. Now I've seen the Beat Phoenix Saber case on Computex in Taipei and I visited Beat Phoenix booth to check out their new stuff. Uh, actually, there are more cases that I'm really looking forward to review in the future, but for now we're going to talk about the Saber one. On the right side you have a full nice tempered glass which well, actually, you can see the sides are tinted black completely. Now, the front side is the thing that looks really nice. It's a bit different than the other cases that I've seen. Uh, and it has these two lines right here going around the Beat Phoenix logo and going together back to the bottom that actually light up, which is addressable RGB uh, and you can synchronize it with your motherboards. Uh, on each side right here you have the intakes for the fans, so I think this would be just enough because the fans are not uh, that close to the intakes and you have a nice distance to get the air inside. As you can see here at the rear part of the case we have one 120 millimeter uh, fan. This is basically a standard RGB fan which uh, supports Aura Sync. Uh, and you have the same thing going here with the connectivity. You have actually loads of cables here and you can manage whatever you wish with it. So basically you can connect it uh, to your you can connect it to your motherboard, to controller, whatever you wish. The only thing, the only downside that I see with this fan is the specters are addressable RGB. This one is standard RGB. Uh, and one more thing, it only has 3 pin. It doesn't have 4 pin PWM to control the speeds. The front fan isn't an RGB fan. It's a standard stock 3 pin with a Molex connection. Uh, I think that would be a nicer if it was the same as this one, so have two RGB fans uh, just to make it more synchronized or something like that. Now here on the top you have two USB 3.0, you have, you have an RGB switch, you have two 3.5mm uh, jacks for your headset and one for your microphone. Mm -hmm. Now we were saying the back side. I have to say I'm really surprised. You have a nice space right here at the bottom and I already see how the short the power supply is. You can manage the original cable, cables from the power supply right here and then reroute the uh, extension kit through the case so you don't have a mess with cables. You do have this standouts uh, where you could use your zip ties and nicely manage your cables which is really nice. At the bottom of the power supply shroud you have two 3.5 inch brackets for your hard drives if you decide to do that. But if you want standard 2.5 inch SSDs you have here brackets to place them as well. In one of the uh, HDD brackets you have an accessory box where you get your zip ties, your screws for the motherboard and screws for the power supply. You have four additional 2.5 inch uh, brackets for your SSD or hard drives, whatever you wish. 
and uh, definitely something really cool because the middle grommet, the middle rubber grommet, uh, you can place your two SSDs right here and reroute the cables through the rubber grommet and connect the SATA cable directly to the motherboard. The other one you have to pull through the bottom, which uh, when I look a bit more in details, uh, the SSD is turned on the bottom side, so the cable goes directly under the hole and you can do a really nice cable management. Shame that nobody's doing a SATA cable direct with uh, exactly length that it needs to be. One more cool thing on this side, you have a small controller which uh, actually has a addressable RGB header so you could actually place everything here, connect everything here and use it as it is or just group everything to one controller and connect uh, it like that. Uh, one thing I did forget, uh, you can place your GPU vertically because you have two slot, two brackets here for your vertical placement of the GPU and basically that is it. You don't have any holders right here but definitely you'll need a separate uh, riser to uh, connect everything. So guys, time for thermals. As you can see the case looks outstanding. Now for the thermals, the thermals are actually really nice in this case. Uh, I stress tested the CPU for about 10 minutes on 100% load constantly including uh, gaming as well. If you're gaming uh, for instance PUBG, medium or high details uh, the CPU, this is AMD Ryzen uh, 7 3800X uh, goes up to tops 50 Celsius degrees uh, and imagine this tops 50, 20% load 100% load is 69 over 10 minutes uh, because yeah we didn't have much time to test it longer but the main thing is the graphic card stood at 70 I think it was 70 Celsius degrees and here is here are the intakes on the side so you don't have any problems with the airflow coming in and out that's basically it guys thank you for watching this was Beat Phoenix Saber case, a really lovely case. I have to say I have nothing against it. Uh, the finished material, the finished design is just perfect. There are no uh, flaws in the final touch, in the final design of the case. You can place your graphic card vertically. As I said, I didn't have an extra riser here because I have to already used up uh, to place it here and to show you guys how it looks. Uh, and the airflow is okay, the temperatures are really nice and that's basically it. I'll put the links below for the Beat Phoenix Saber, for the Beat Phoenix Formula Series power supply. Also Alchemy cables look really nice and when you place the cable combs they actually do fit perfectly in everything that you have fans we have the spectra fans as well the addressable rgb fans and that's all the rest to the guys so thank you for watching links for beat phoenix products are down below so you can check them out and of course don't forget to like the video if you liked it of course if not you know what to do and sub bell button and see you next time in the new video bye bye